What's up guys, welcome to your sixth Java tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you a real quick way to get input from a user. So one way that we can get input from a user is to use something that's already built into Java. And this is called a scanner. And what the scanner does is take information that the user types in from their keyboard and stores it in a variable. So let's go ahead and get the scanner first. And how we get it or tell Java where we need to use it is we need to import it. So go ahead and write import on your first line, java, j-a-v-a dot u-t-i-l dot scanner. And this is how you're going to be inputting, excuse me, importing stuff from now on. So um, just get used to that syntax. If you don't know exactly what this means, it's pretty much just getting the scanner and telling Java we're going to need it. So, um, of course, in our class, we need that public method again. So, in our class body, go ahead and type public static void main. And in your arguments, type string args with your square brackets. Looks good? Good enough. Now, in your body of your main, we need to actually get programming. So, we need to make a variable that's going to hold the input from the keyboard before we use it. So to do this we need to go ahead and write something called scanner S-C-A-N-N-E-R. This means that we're going to use the scanner. Next you need to give your variable a name and I'm going to name mine Bucky. And then you need to set it equal to whatever they enter from the keyboard. So to do this you need to follow along. New scanner and in your parentheses right here let me add my semicolon first you need to type system dot in so here's what's going in right here or excuse me going on we told java we need to use the scanner which is a way to get information from the keyboard we have a variable it's a scanning variable called bucky and the bucky variable is equal to whatever information that's in the keyboard and system in stands for system input and it, the only input we have in the computer right here is the keyboard so this pretty much is short for whatever we type in for the keyboard hold it in our Bucky variable and we're gonna tell you what to do with it right now so now we have input whatever that's going to be from the keyboard and it's going to be stored in our Bucky variable what we want to do now is just print it out on the screen so you remember from the last tutorial how to do that system dot out dot print line and in your parentheses you need to type pay attention the first thing you need to type is the name of your variable and that's going to be um, whatever you made up here again this Bucky you don't have to write Bucky of course you can write anything you want now press Bucky period next line and what this is going to do is allow you to pause and wait until you get input from here so again, let me uh, run this program, and I'll show you guys what it does. Go ahead and press OK. And now, down here, it's going to say, hey now, press enter, and it's going to output hey now. So remember, it had a blank cursor, said hey now, once you press enter, it just repeated it again. And I'll show you guys what happened right there. Again, one last time we imported the scanner if we didn't import it we can never use it since Java doesn't really like to just gather everything it only uses the things it needs it's very um uh, I don't know noble I guess it only takes what it needs very courageous uh, program language but anyways what we did in our main function these are the only two lines you really need to look for we made a variable called Bucky and it's a scanner variable. We said we're making a new scanner variable that's going to be equal to whatever the user inputted. In this example, hey now. Now hey now equals Bucky or Bucky equals hey now. So what do you want so anytime you print out Bucky, it's going to print out hey now. So instead of system out print line with text in here, we actually changed that text for Bucky dot next line. And again, what that did is pretty much take that hey now variable and put it in here. And that's why it printed out hey now. So that's your quick tutorial on how to use the scanner um, to set it equal to variable and then to use that variable to output on your screen using the print line method. 
So that's your basics on how to gather input from the keyboard. And we're going to need this input to use in functions later on. Say we want to make a mortgage calculator or um, just a shopping cart. Um, that's how we do that. So again, uh, practice this. Uh, just copy the source code as I do. Remember, you don't need to name your, name your function Bucky. So go ahead and uh, practice this. And thank you guys for watching. Hopefully, you check out my next tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And uh, thank you. And I'll see you next time.